Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year to everyone. I uh, hope you had a good Christmas and uh, uh, New Year's and holiday season. Um, I didn't have, I haven't had any videos in about a month. I do apologize for that, but with the holidays and uh, not really having a backlog of videos and it being cold outside and getting dark around 5, 5.30, uh, I don't really have a lot of daylight after I get home from work and on the weekends I don't really feel like, had, hadn't felt like doing stuff. So, uh, with the uh, holidays and all that, but uh, uh, wanted to do this video, uh, wanted to have it out by New Year's, but didn't have it out, but oh well. Uh, wanted to take a look back at the videos I've done, uh, the, the work I've done in, uh, in 2023, and then uh, look ahead at what 2024 has in store. So uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the videos that I have uh, that I've uh, uploaded and progress I've made on uh, in uh, 2023. All right, let's take a look at some of the videos we've done last year. Uh, let's see, we uh, went, took the Cushman for a ride. We went to my buddy Ricky's uh, uh, place and uh, checked out his uh, his blown funny car uh, first fire up. Uh, broke down that industrial 440 with dust of a garage went to that really cool uh, agricultural museum uh, went to the Indy swap meet uh, got the exhaust finished on my 65 Cushman uh, see got the demon carburetor finally fixed the exhaust leak on the charger uh, I, I uh, showed off the uh, burnout tro uh, part of the burnout trophy for the 2023 no name nationals uh, swapped the fenders on the dart, uh, did the cam swap in my truck, picked up two more Cushmans, and then uh, quite a few Cushman videos, uh, and, uh, the start of the Red Rocket uh, build, and uh, all those videos, and let's see, fixing the power steering leak on my charger, still having a leak, I'm sure I think it's coming from somewhere else now. Uh, let's see more uh, more no name nationals prep. I made that uh, winch mount, which worked out perfectly. Uh, did went to the no name nationals with my colored smoke tires, which was really awesome. Uh, no name nationals videos, uh, carb swap on the Cushman. Brought home another Cushman, uh, making gaskets with my vinyl cutter. Rebuilding the transmission in my in the 61 Cushman I picked up uh, Worked on my truck some more and a couple more videos for the Red Rocket One thing I'm really looking forward to is uh, going back to the Indy swap meet uh, Depending on how my funds go. I may not have any money to spend there But at least I'll be around friends hanging out having having a good time but uh um, and, the, and of course, the No Name Nationals, I will have a video uh, for that, uh, showcasing my plans for that and what I plan on doing. But um, we've made a lot of good progress on stuff in 2023. I'm uh, really hoping to have the Red Rocket right here. Really hoping to have the uh, front frame sections welded on and at least a rolling chassis by the start of summer. I would really love to have uh, the uh, a rolling chassis at least by July, really. By July, June, July, uh, is once I get the rolling chassis done, it'll really, uh, progress on it will be moving pretty quick, dropping, dropping the motor in and then uh, getting everything else done. But uh, definitely making good progress on stuff and been able to pick up some really really awesome stuff uh, uh, within this first week of the year so uh, let me show you some stuff I've picked up already okay first thing I picked up a set of uh, late 60s b-body um, hooker competition headers for the Red Rockets 440 and if they don't end up working with the frame which I'm pretty sure they will um, I can always put them on the charger. And something else I picked up is for the Red Rocket over here. Picked up another Big Block 727, and this one has the parking brake assembly on the back of it. 
So I'm going to be using this on the Red Rocket so I can have a very easy, a very easy to set up uh, parking brake. And I don't have to worry about routing cables to the rear end and figuring out all that. So definitely going to have that. I haven't even pulled this off to look at it to see how it's actually set up. But uh, got it covered up. It's, it's all good. And where is it? There it is. This is going to be the Red Rockets, uh, I guess, control central um, with uh, the charging system and the ignition system. I'm going to have that mounted up under the seat area. But uh, this this came off the uh, an industrial 413. Met a really really super cool dude that uh, lives down the road for me. Was able to work out a trade on a couple things, and uh, what, that was one of the things I got. And uh, from another buddy of mine, I was able to pick up something else really really awesome. I was able to pick up uh, uh, two 15 by 10. Two 15 by eight and two 14 by seven Kreger SST wheels. Definitely gonna have some videos on those to try trying to get them cleaned up. I found some 30% uh, uh, concentrated vinegar at Home Depot and uh, got some uh, 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 four zero uh, uh, steel wool uh that i'm gonna use to try to get these wheels cleaned up get, get the rust off of them and everything uh they're pretty clean for the most part just a couple there's a, there's some spots on on uh on a couple of them that that need attention but uh my plan on those i did a test fit on the charger and with the charger sitting sitting so low in the back probably need to replace the leaf springs but um with the charger sitting so low the 15 by 10s will not work so, what uh, the 15 by 8s work in the back, and I'm pretty sure the 14 by 7s work in the front. Um, I've got some, I've got the correct lug nuts and some center caps coming. So when I get those, I'm going to do another test fit on the front of the charger to make sure that the, that these 14 inch wheels actually fit on the front. And fingers crossed, they actually do. I'm going to use the 15 by 8 and the 14 by 7s on the charger. And the 15 by 10s I'm gonna have for the Red Rocket. So the 15 by 10s are gonna be on the back, and then on the front I'm gonna have some uh, some uh, the uh, just some traditional uh, uh, Kreger SS wheels, uh, like a 15 by four and a half or a 15 by six or seven, something like that. And uh, that way it's uh, reminiscent of uh, uh, Gasser style. So we have got a uh, a lot of stuff planned for 2024. We got the uh, No Name Nationals. We got the uh, Red Rocket build that we're going to be making some really good progress on this year. And uh, still got the rear end down here. Actually moved quite a bit of stuff around. Did some organizing in here today so I can actually function better and uh, store those store those wheels down there. But uh, still need to cut those brackets off of that eight and three quarter and um to get it ready for the uh parallel four link stuff to be welded on so still got to do that i've i've just i've just been lazy and uh see what else yeah i'm, I'm sure there's going to be other stuff we're going to be doing throughout the year and it's uh, 2023 was jam-packed with awesome fun stuff hanging out with people getting cool stuff and uh uh, meeting new people and all that and uh, I'm sure 2024 is going to be the same thing so uh, it's going to be a really fun year so uh, looking forward to seeing everybody at uh, every every step of the way so uh, if you like the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one